Hello everyone. This is Aditya Sharma and this is my first video log in which I am going to share with you my experience uh, turning a ionic application to a Shopify POS app. So uh, we are going to use the web feature of ionic application to uh, to be used as a Shopify POS app. So let's begin. So first of all, uh, I started with understanding what Shopify POS is and how the basic applications are built for that. So I went through the official documentation for the same. And uh, after that, uh, I did watch some videos uh, from the official channel in which uh, they uh, described what what a POS is and uh, how the apps are uh, being installed in that POS and being used for the same. Then uh, I went through some of the blocks regarding uh, how these applications are built and uh, this uh, this blog is quite interesting by Liz uh, in which the basic uh, overview uh, of uh, building any app is provided using the Shopify app bridge. Then I explored about uh, how the apps can be built like uh, there are uh, that I got uh, uh, the ways like uh, we can use Shopify app bridge to uh, build any application other than that we can also use embedded app as we can. and uh, then there are uh, some uh, uh, there is a POS app SDK uh, for various operations available and so finally I uh, went through uh, some of the uh, tutorials available to start with uh, I went through this tutorial by Jash Josh Brown. Uh, as of now, what uh, my understanding is, uh, uh, the POS apps are kind of similar to the Shopify apps. Uh, di uh, the difference lies is uh, when uh, when we talk about uh, POS apps, uh, we need to enable it, it through the configuration available. Uh, in uh, extensions so we uh, when, uh, when we enable that uh, any any of the application that we are building of Shopify it can act as a, a POS app as well other than that uh, they are more uh, more of a web applications only so uh, we need to perform certain uh, uh, authentication procedure to uh, make them part of Shopify so that was all about today uh, thank you